Hey guys, registration is now open for my mom's dream workshop and dare to hear from God training classes. The dream workshop is on December 4th, 2021 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And the eight week live dare to hear training classes, releasing God's heart through hearing his voice begins Tuesdays, January 18th, 2022 through March 8th. 8 from 8 to 10 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone, and that's live on Zoom. To register, click the link in the show notes or go to debbiekitterman.com slash shop and register today for the live online Zoom classes. Hello, I'm Debbie Kitterman, and welcome to Dare to Hear the Podcast, where we equip you and challenge you to dare to hear the voice of God. Well, I am really excited because as promised, when I had Roxanne worship back in September, and if you missed that episode, it is September 29th of 2021. You can go listen to that, but I'm going to introduce you to her, but we are here to talk about her brand new children's book, The Greatest Gift. And we're going to talk about the illustrator and just God's miracles that are all over this. This is a anointed book. And so we're going to talk about that, but first let me introduce you to Roxanne again, in case you missed our episode back in September. (laughs) So Roxanne was born the middle child of six girls and five boys. And she grew up in a loving Christian home after surviving being ran over by a cart, which we talked about on our podcast. So people have to hear it. It's such a miraculous story. Um, and dragged 24 feet down the street. Roxanne knew that God had spared her life for a reason. That miracle was pivotal in her life. And she realized from that day forward that God had been preparing her and calling her to ministry. Roxanne is best known for her passion, joy, and sincere love that exudes from every fiber of her being. You're going to see that today on the podcast. She is always looking for ways to serve others and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. She is the president and founder of hope and glory ministries, where she travels extensively to encourage churches, leaders, and individuals. She is ordained through Joan, Joan Hunter ministries and Roxanne. Thank you so much for coming because, and, oh, and I got to be with Roxanne and her husband Mills, um, cause they live in Houston, Texas. And so I got to go down there and do an event with her. And then, I mean, we were already friends, but like it just solidified us. I just love you so much, Roxanne. And I just want all of my audience to get to know you too, because you do exude the joy and the love of Jesus everywhere you go. Uh, Thank you, Debbie. It's such a joy and an honor to be back here when you were just holding up my new book. Yes. Seriously. I looked at that and looked at you and thought about this journey and tears just are just welling in my eyes because it's so overwhelming when the Lord trust you with something yeah. and taps you on the shoulder. And then you see the manifestation yeah. of that. Plus as a former educator and having met Robert Munch, who is the author of love you forever. Yeah. That children's I book. love that book. And uh, Norm Bridwell, who is the author of Clifford, the big red dog. Mm-hmm. And I rub shoulders with these gentlemen when I taught school in, in Katie school district, yeah. you know, in the eighties and early nineties. Mm-hmm. And so this book, this book is an absolute dream come true. And here it is right now. And I'm so honored and so excited. So thank you for having me. You're so welcome. So much. And you're such a powerhouse for the kingdom of God. So it's an honor to just be in your presence. Well, thank you so much. So we're, we, and when we get together, watch out, because it's always fun. It's always like, you never know what the Holy Spirit's going to do. Okay. So I want to talk about the greatest gift. So I told people about this back when you were on the podcast at the end of September, and we talked about that it was coming out and it's finally here. And so we're going to talk about the story. We're going to talk about how God gave you this, the purpose for it. But I'm going to say this up front before we even get into that, that if you have children, grandchildren, or you go to a baby shower, this is the book that you need to purchase and you need to take and you need to give it away. And you'll find out why as we jump into today's podcast episode. So Roxanne, big question. How did this come about? How did you get it? And then after that, I'm going to ask you a few questions and then we're going to talk about the illustrations. Okay. So the story is amazing. As I told you just a few minutes ago, I've always had a desire to write children's books. It's it's been a just a buried dream in my heart Yeah. that when I wrote this book, My dog can preach 40 lessons of God's love unleashed. One of the chapters in here is called a great gift. It speaks of when we gave scout to our son for Christmas one year uh, as a surprise, a brand new little puppy and what a great gift it was. But this story goes on to say as great as a gift as that puppy was for a little boy one Christmas, the entire 
all of mankind was given the greatest gift, not in the form of a puppy, but in the form of a savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And um, so this book um, released at the end of September of 2020, my dog can preach. Yeah. I knew one day I'd love to write a series of children's books. Had no idea it was going to happen so fast. Two weeks later, I'm sitting at my desk at my job, Debbie, and literally this poem starts downloading in my spirit. And I hear it word for word, verse by verse, line by line. And I'm like, what in the world is this? And I just kept hearing it play in my mind. So I sat down at my computer and I just started typing. And this entire book was written all the verses in 20 minutes Mm. as the Holy Spirit just downloaded it to me and as fast as I could type. And I was blown away, just absolutely blown away. And I thought, wow, God, that's amazing. Like, and I loved it. I just loved it from the get-go. And that was on a Tuesday. On Thursday of that same week, I hear in my spirit, now I want you to write a prayer for the back page. I hear it as clear as day. Yeah. And I thought, okay, what do you want it to say? Because, you know, you just wrote this whole book, Lord. What do you want the prayer to say? Yeah. And again, he gave me the prayer for the back page, and it's an invitation for the child to invite Jesus into their heart, another precious poem. And that's how this book came to be that yeah. fast in October right after my dog can preach got released. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, okay. So talk to me about, because, um, here, let me just give you guys a glimpse of the inside because the illustrations are beautiful. So you've got to talk to me about how you found Rob Rice and the illustrations, but like, look at this. Mm. I mean, that's, that's just, that's just one of the pages. So we're going to show you more, but talk to me about how you found Rob Rice. Talk to me about the illustrator, because that was a miracle story in and of itself as well, too, because a lot of people I think get stuck in the process of, okay, so I have this thing now, what do I do with it? Because I can't draw, I can do stick figures. I can do stick figures, but I can't draw. Right. Well, I, I um, had another illustrator that I was already in a contract with. And everything that I was being sent, it just looked like that Japanese anime art. It just looked so fake. And I know a lot of children's books, you know, the children have big heads or, you know, they're just over exaggerated. Yeah. And for some books, that's perfect to me for this book. It would not be perfect unless the the characters looked very real because this is a very real story. This is the story about the birth of our savior. And um, anyway, so it was very important to me and everything that that other illustrator was sending me, I just wasn't resonating with me. A friend of mine, honestly, a friend of mine went out looking on the internet for illustrators for me. I didn't even know she did this. Mm. It was just another God ordained, you know, portion of the story. Yeah. And she found Rob Rice and she said, introduced us via email and said, I think y'all would be a good connection. So I started talking to him. I said, look, let me send you some money. Do this page for me, do this verse for me. I want to see your vision. I didn't show him. I didn't tell him anything else. And he sent me something and it was so right. It was so perfect. And so I got out of that other contract, the inner contract with Rob, and he is an amazing illustrator. This is not the first book he's illustrated, um, but he told me it's his, it's his favorite. Yeah. that he's done. And also he also look at this. This was the page that I had him do for me. I, I got it. Scout as a present early one Christmas day. He woke me up with kisses. I didn't know what to say. Look at the love mm-hmm. in that page. You can totally see it too on his, on his face. You can, that was the thing. I think when you showed me the sample copy, when I was with you um, in Houston back in July was you had the sample copy and you're like, I'm waiting for the books to come, but here's the sample, but the other books are going to be so much more beautiful. And I was like, 
the detail, the, the, the attention to detail that he had, even your, um, the changes that you made to some of the things and just really the forethought that you put into this book, it is, it is a book that in my mind, you know, we all have those favorite books. Like right now, you know, it's the big thing when you go to a baby shower, it's like bring, instead of a card, bring a, bring a book and sign the book um, and dedicate it to the child. And I looked at you and I said, I'm taking these books from now on to every baby shower that I go to, because just like my favorite book, which I'll love you forever and good night moon, like those are good, but this, this has an eternal purpose. Yeah. This has so much more and it's so beautiful. So, um, I know, um, I, I want you to read it. Can you read it? Will you read it to us? Is that okay? Sure. That I way it gives people a glimpse of it. I want to tell you one more thing about Rob yes. I got to know him and he was so easy to work with. I yeah. recommend him to everybody. And he's the, he's the creative, but I kind of had a vision. Yeah. And so we collaborated so well and not once was he ever offended if I had him make changes? Sometimes I'd have him make a change that I thought would be better. And then I saw his original after he made the change for me and we went back to the original. It was such a beautiful uh, partnership. Yeah. But one day um, I, I texted him and I said, hey, can you call me when you get a chance? He called me later that day and he said, oh, I'm sorry, I was at the doctor. And I just said, hey, is everything okay? He said, I had to go to my prosthetic doctor. And I said, what? He said, yes. He says, I have a prosthetic hand. I said, Rob, I never knew that. Like, can you, do you mind telling me what happened? And he said that his whole dream was to be a designer, a graphic artist, an illustrator. And he went to college to the Chicago Art Institute yeah. and got his degree and did all that. He was working in a printing press and his boss removed all the safety features, Debbie, off of the printing press. So as he's feeding this machine, mm. his right hand, his dominant hand gets sucked into that machine and he loses his hand. Yeah. The hand that he works that with, mm -hmm. the hand that he draws with, the whole hand that he depended so much on yeah. it. He was, I was stunned. I had no idea. And I mean, he's telling me the story and I'm crying over the phone. And I said, Rob, what, what did you do? He said, Ro Roxanne, he said, my mom came over to my house after I was back from the hospital and handed me a big chief tablet and a box of crayons. And I looked at her and I was stunned. And I thought to myself, like, how rude, like, why would you do this? And my mother looked at me and said, you still have a left hand. You need to get to drawing. Mm. And so he had to learn everything from his left hand. And he said, Roxanne, it has made me such a much better artist. Mm. He said, I see things from a different angle. I see things and said, I'm so much more into detail. Just take a look at the, I know. Fireplace. I love this. With the, the names on the stockings. Mm -hmm. Look at the detail just in that, you know, Bethlehem and in that manger scene. Just unbelievable. Makes so me want to write a children's book so that he can illustrate. Like I'm thinking, oh, I have a dare to hear children's curriculum and I've never been able to find an artist for it. And I need to make some changes to it. And I'm like, hmm, like my brain is. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I love that story. Okay. So, so he, he had to learn. And as a mother, we see these things in our, in our children that we want to pull them out. Even in the midst of tragedy, we still yes. know that there's a purpose and how he overcame that. That's fabulous. Like that, that just, that, that makes this book that much more special oh, and how, so how you found him too. Just a gift from the Lord. It truly yeah. is. It really is. But anyway, you said I could read my book. So yes. I'm yes. I want you to read the book because I want people to see it. And I want, this is so amazing because I love, here's, here's the thing I love, right? Like the dare to hear podcast is all about daring to hear the voice of God. You are at work doing your job. God downloads this book to you. And now we're about to hear it. So go for it. Yes. It says I got a brand new puppy. I named my new friend scout. I take him with me everywhere. I love him. There's no doubt. Scout's black and soft, he's small and furry. Scout's always playing and in a hurry. Look at what he did. I mean, I just love it. I do too. 
We like to go on adventures when we take a walk outside. Sometimes we play a game of fetch, or in my wagon he will ride. I got Scout as a present early one Christmas day. He woke me up with kisses. I didn't know what to say. I love it. What a wonderful surprise to receive this precious pet. We love each other very much. This gift I will never forget. This is the transition. Mm. Look at the mom holding the Bible. Yeah. My mom told me a story about another Christmas day of a baby born in a manger whose pillow was made of hay. This is my favorite painting. Let me show you. Look at the names of the Lord written in the sky. Oh, I know. I love this page. This is my favorite. They called his name Emmanuel, Lord of Lords and Prince of Peace. The Alpha and the Omega, his love will never cease. We mostly call him Jesus. He's the Savior to the world who loves us more than we can know. Every single boy and girl. I love this. So cute. Look at the baby. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. He was born in the city of David. Dirty hay made up his bed. How strange to know that the king of kings had no place to lay his head. There was a star over Bethlehem, a bright and radiant star that led the way for travelers and wise men from afar. They brought to Jesus precious gifts of frankincense, myrrh, and gold. And even in every single Christmas day, this wondrous story is still told (sighs) of how Jesus came to give us the gift of eternal life and offer us salvation, not misery or strife. If you can see, I told Rob, I said, I'd love for uh, the cross to be in there. That's the whole reason Jesus came to the earth. Yeah. So he had the cross on the back of the donkey, which is on every donkey, right? Yeah. And then he put the cross as the shadow of Jesus. You see it? I see it. And then be sure and open this present because Jesus really loves you. And you will receive the greatest gift that lasts your whole life through. Look at the star of Bethlehem and every single star picture. Mm -hmm. This gift can be yours today. In Jesus, you must believe. Invite him to be your savior. Just ask and you'll receive. Look at the lion and the lamb. I know, I love this. Look, and then he has a thought for God so loved. He's reminiscing over everything. And there's that star for God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus. Okay, so that was all written on a Tuesday. Yeah. And Thursday, I hear the Spirit of God say, write a prayer for the back page. Okay, Lord, what do you want it to say? And here is all of it. We're so good about talking about Jesus, but I I encourage the body of Christ to be better about closing the deal. And this is the deal closer right now. Dear Jesus, I invite you to come into my heart to be my Lord and Savior and give me a brand new start. I ask that you forgive me of every sin and mistake, wash them all away from me and heal every heartbreak. Today, I received this gift from you. Please help me as I grow. I promise to stay by your side. Jesus loves me. This I know. Mm -hmm. Then they can sign it and date it. Remember forever when they invited Jesus into their heart. And then also recently, like within the last two weeks, I just had these big cards printed up with the prayer. They're six by nine. Anybody can frame these, put them on their dresser, nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, grandchildren, neighbors, and they can always have this in front of them. Mm -hmm. Because you never know when the Spirit of God is going to speak to someone. Yeah. And they'll always have that in front of them. So that is my precious book that the Lord Jesus gave to me 
Yes. I love, I love it so much because it's so true. Like we have all these other children's books that we read, but this one lays it out so beautifully. And it's so beautifully illustrated as well. Attention to detail at every place. And even the things that you wanted and how well the Lord orchestrated working through your collaboration. It's just fabulous. The greatest gift um, is a book that you all need. If you have any children in your life or you're going to any baby shower, this is the book you need to get. Okay. So Roxanne, tell us how can they get a copy of this book um and how can they connect with you and then um we have a special deal for them yeah so i'm so excited so it's anywhere books are sold amazon.com barnesandnoble.com target walmart.com everywhere books are sold like that but if you go to my website my dog can preach.com you can buy just google my name roxanne worship i'll put it in the show links Yeah, you can go to my website, and for your listeners today, they can get a three-for-two offer. That means for every two books they buy, I will send them three books total. So they're going to get a free book to give away. Put it in the notes, Debbie Kitterman, Dare to Hear, anything like that, that I know that that's you know, a trigger for me. And then also write the names of the people that you want. Like in book number one, put the names, book number two, put the names, and then I will autograph them. I will mail them to one address and you can give them away uh, that way. And so I'm happy to do that for your listeners. I'm so honored to be here. Debbie, I'm going to send you your personal copy, but I'm going to send you some to take to parties. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited about that. So yeah. And I ordered my first copy because I'm like, Roxanne, I'm going to order my copy so I can get you on the show. Um, and the, so this is, this is beautiful too, from Amazon, right? This is from Amazon, but the ones you have are a little bit different, a little bit more special. Yes. Like, they're still beautiful, but they also have a dust jacket, which is what I love. Tell them my story. And it also tell Rob's, Rob's story. story. That even if you don't have a dust jacket, it still looks exactly like your book. It does. It does. And buy from Roxanne. Let me just tell you that so that she can get more of the money instead of those other places. But if you're in a bind, then you can go ahead and do that. But how much more special to have the author sign the books. I love that. I love that. And I love, I love, I love your uh, evangelistic gift, Roxanne. That's the thing I've always noticed about you. And even with the forethought with, I mean, God downloaded this to you, but the vision for everything, like and we were talking about this before, cause you have your banner behind you and, and just the caravan here. And you're like, yeah, all roads lead to Jesus. That's exactly right. It's and I think that's the thing. That. Yeah. That's the thing that people need to understand is all roads lead to Jesus. So how much better as a young child that we're reading this book with them. And then this is a gift book that they get to keep as well to remember that special day. But this is a great way to share the gospel message. And on every page, like even the detail of the nativity up on top of the mantle, and then the gift of Jesus under the Christmas tree. And even, you know, even the Santa Claus behind the little boy. And then the mom's reading the story. I mean, I think you brought it all together, Rob and you together, as you collaborated with the Holy spirit took what the Lord downloaded and gave you. And so I am so, I am so excited. I am so excited because I'm really purposeful when, when, you know, I'm choosing a book, I want a book, you know, but you go to the Christian bookstore, you try to find a book that has the, this has it all. Yes, this has it all. And I'm so excited about that. Okay. So, um, have you gotten any testimonies or any stories yet? I know the book just came out, but I'm just wondering, have you got any stories from people that are like, Hey, I gave this to my kid and they let, they prayed the prayer, anything like that. And I know you've been going to fairs and craft shows and things, and you've been sharing this message with people. So any testimonies, any doors that have opened for you to pray? Cause I know you always pray for healing. So give us some glory stories. Well, um, I've enjoyed being out amongst the people and, and meeting them and ministering to them. And um, I was at a craft show a few weeks ago and this elderly gentleman came up to me and he was looking at my book and, and he was so interested. And I said, Oh, I said, do you have grandchildren? And he said, no, but he bought both of my books. And I said, really? I said, that's so great. I said, what are you going to do with this? And he said, he said, I'm a pastor. And he said, this is the most amazing book. And he said, I want to have it in my church. I want to have it for the children. And uh, I was so honored by that. 
I'm invited to a Christian school November 16th yeah. to uh, read to all of their K through fifth grade. So the younger ones I get to share from this book and then the upper grade, you know, third through fifth, fourth through fifth, I get to share from this book. Yeah. And then, you know, they want to put a bunch of book orders in, which is so amazing. Yeah. Um, one of my friends sent me a picture and they said, this is the book my children ask for every single night. And so that's so touching and it's so humbling and so honoring. Yeah. I also had to tell you, like working with Rob and trying to get some of the details, uh, when he had that donkey in the manger scene and I noticed it was just a gray donkey yeah. and it didn't have a cross on the back of the donkey, yeah. the line going down and the, um, going across the shoulder blades. And so I got to tell him, I said, Rob, look at the donkey, look at a picture of a donkey. It has the cross on the back. And we know about Jesus riding on the donkey, yeah. you know, uh, when they're shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, right before he went to the cross, it was a foreshadowing. He was on the cross yeah. going into that week. It was a foreshadowing of what was to come. But Mary rode in with a baby, the Messiah in her womb. Mm -hmm. So even before he was born to this earth, think about it. He was already on the cross. Yeah. You know, as his mother wrote and he was in her womb, he was already on the cross because the Bible says Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Yeah. That was his whole earthly ministry was to go to the cross. And, you know, the beautiful thing is now Jesus is in his heavenly ministry mm -hmm. back in his rightful place. And what does he do for us all day? He intercedes. He prays for us all day long. Mm -hmm. And I just love that so much. So it was so such an honor to be able to collaborate with Rob, to tell him some of these stories, to give him a little more background. You know, he was teaching me so much. I was able to teach him a little bit and, um, I've never met him personally, but every time I hang up with him, I'm always say, I love you. I love you so much, Rob. And it's kind of funny. And then I giggle and he's like, I love you too, Roxanne. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love it. I love it. I and and even his story too is is inspiring too to never give up. If God has given you a gift and something comes to steal that yeah. that thing that God always makes a way, right? I mean, and his mother, what a perfect like he was thinking how rude, mom, like hello, I just had this tragic accident, but she knew what was inside of him and she was calling it out. And she's like, but we're gonna make a way through this and we're gonna go through this. And just and just even the way that you found each other too, um, to get this book, the girl greatest gift and the illustrations. I, I can't imagine it any other way. I can't imagine it by any other illustrator and just mm -hmm. what the Lord downloaded to you. And I just want to encourage everybody that not only get this for the children in your life or for your church library or for your home library for when kids come to visit, but, but really to be, um, ever listening to what the Lord may drop in your heart, because Roxanne, you were going about your business of work and uh, the Lord just dropped it in your heart. And then two days later, he's like, Oh, but wait, we're going to add one more thing to it. Mm. And that is so powerful. That is so powerful. So thank you for your obedience. Thank you for your listening ears. And thank you for um, persisting and persevering to get the exact artist that you needed to mm -hmm. get this beautiful book, because it's so important, especially now that, that this next generation and future generations know the love of Jesus and the greatest gift that he has given to us because he wants all to know the truth. So thank you. Amen. Uh, Debbie, what you said a minute ago, just triggered something about, even though Rob lost his hand, yeah. that didn't discount him and disqualify him because okay. the Bible says, that the calling of God on your life yeah. is irrevocable. Yeah. The gifts and the, the purpose, the destiny that God has called you, no man, no door, no demon in hell can stop it. Mm -hmm. And that was so great. I have to tell you this. I went to go read this to a group of um, three and four year olds. Yeah. Uh, and the director of the daycare said, oh my goodness, they've never sat <laughs> that long, so attentive ever. But I was asking them, how many of you know who Jesus is? And out of all 
oh goodness, 50, 60 of those children, Debbie, only three hands went up. Wow. And my heart was like so sad. But every single one of those children went home that day with their very own book. Oh, Roxanne, that's wonderful. I pray they get to know who Jesus is through this uh, book and uh, get to know the person of, of God through Jesus Christ. So praise, praise the Lord for that. Yes. That's so exciting. Okay. Well, um, this has been an excellent, the greatest gift. I'm so glad you were able to come back on and to join me. Um, I'm going to put in the show notes where they can go get a copy of the book with a direct link to your website. And then as Roxanne said, for all the dare to hear listeners, you just put in the note to her that um, it's two books for three, and then mention dare to hear the podcast or Debbie Kitterman that you heard it here. And then she's going to honor that you buy two, you get a third one for free and uh, she's going to sign them. And so in that notes too, make sure if you're wanting to give it to a specific child to write the name of book one, book two, book three, like she said, and then who that goes to, and she will dedicate it to them and she'll sign it. And what a precious gift that we can give for perfect Christmas gifts. And then, you know, sometimes babies pop out here sometime in January, February, March, and you're going to already have a gift that's ready for them. And you may not know baby's name, but you can just tell her to sign it and she'll do that too. So Roxanne, thank you so much for being with us today again. Debbie, thank you so much for having me. It's so good to see you too. I love you with all my heart. Yeah, I love you too. And it's so good to see you. I I was like, ah, it's so fun to have you back on. I miss you so much. Um, I want you to pray. I just want you to pray um, over us. I don't know what God has put on your heart today as we've talked about the greatest gift. It was talking about the next generation as we talked about, you know, that the calling and gifts of God are not irrevocable no matter what comes against us. Whatever God's put on your heart, can you pray us out of today's episode? Sure. Uh, I already have something in my heart and I get emotional about it. But Debbie, like you get on here and you're so excited with me and so excited for me. And I just want to encourage all of us to be cheerleaders for one another. Um, When I'm winning, it doesn't mean somebody else is losing. When you're winning, it doesn't mean I'm losing. When you're winning, I'm winning because we're the body of Christ and we work okay. best together. And, and when the pinkies soar, all of us are sore. All of us suffer. So let's all be winners and let's all be the greatest cheerleaders one for another. So father, we just come in the matchless name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And we thank you, Lord, that you gave us the perfect example of how, when we come together in unity, Jesus never did one thing without hearing from his father he didn't do he said i do that which i see my father doing i speak that which i see my father speaking and the holy spirit was so active and is so active and they work together in unity never apart never in competition but in collaboration and lord i just thank you that even now Mm -hmm. the body of christ jesus is getting this deep rooted in their hearts that we are better together, that where there's unity, you command a blessing, Lord. Mm -hmm. When one of us is down, we all down. But Lord, when we're together in unity, it's a beautiful symphony. It's a harmony, Lord. And we are indeed, like your word says, better together. Mm -hmm. So Father, help us to always remember, Holy Spirit, quicken quicken our spirits. That when one's winning, we're all winning. Yeah. When one is winning, we're all winning. Doesn't mm-hmm. mean that I'm losing. So, Father, help us to stay in our lane and help us to grow up and mature in the things of Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. That we too would be about our Father's business. And that we would have ears to hear and eyes to see what the Spirit of the Living God has to say. And that, Lord, we indeed would be one, Mm -hmm. even as you are one. Let it be in the name of Jesus, Father. I bless Debbie. I bless every single listener within the sound of our voice. And Father, that you would give them the deep desires of their heart. And Lord, for those dreams that have been dormant, God, we just stir up those gifts within them right now in the name of Jesus. We fan the flame, Lord. Say, let it burn again. 
because I know this, Father. You have not changed your mind about us. And the gifts and the purpose and the calling upon our life is still heaven sent. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we do fan fan the flame within us Mm -hmm. to be all that you created us to be, all that you desire us to be. And, Lord, we know it's not about us, but it's all and only about Jesus until the whole world knows his name. We praise you and we thank you and thank you again for Debbie and for her generosity and her um, loving kindness, not just toward me, but to everybody. God, Bless her ministry, God, and tenfold increase. I pray it in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Roxanne. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. So again, the greatest gift, I'm also going to put the link into, um, well, the, it's going to take you straight to their page and they can get you, my dog can preach. And if you miss that episode back in September, it was September 29th when it aired, you can go back, you can listen to that because this is, this is a great devotional book, um, for adults and, you know, teenagers and kids, and you can even read it to your children. It's so great. It's life lessons from your dog. And I, and I love that. I love that. I'm, I'm an animal person. So I love that. So again, I Roxanne, a million testimonies from this book. Yeah. It's been out longer. This book's only been out two weeks. I know. I know. I'm so it's not but really I'm still... around yet, but That's I get okay. so many testimonies and people saying how they came back to the Lord, Yeah. you know, and now how they see God in everything. And that's what I want them to do. Yeah. Which is so, I, I love it. And so, for such a time as this. So Roxanne, again, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Debbie. I love you. God bless you. I love you too. Well, thank you for listening to Dare to Hear the podcast where we encourage you to dare to hear the voice of God. Thank you for listening today. I'm Debbie Kitterman. If you've been encouraged in any way, we would ask that you would do a couple of things. One, share this podcast episode out so that everybody can hear about our message today about the greatest gift and go get your copy of Roxanne's book. You can click the link in the show notes and you can order a copy or two or three or 10 uh, to give away. And then also, if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel or to our podcast, and if you can leave us a review on any one of those, that would help as people are looking for it. And it can uh, help us spread the word of what God is doing and how we can dare to hear the voice of God in our own life. Until next week, God bless and goodbye. All of the mountaintops I'm not in the fire And consuming flame I'm in the whisper That calls a name Cause there's peace in my presence Do not fear Oh, do not fear I have called you Dead to hear He has called you Dead to hear Thank you.